Hi, I'm Orunduti Parmar. I'm senior editor at MDDI Online, and I'm here at MDNM East in Philadelphia. And uh, with me is Rob Hasselt with Synquest, and we are going to talk about 3D printing, which is a hot new technology that's gaining ground. And uh, uh, Rob, tell me a little bit about the types of companies that may want to use this kind of a product. Well, there's a lot of different types of customers that we sell this technology to. Um, everything from architectural companies to companies producing consumer products and toys. But we also have an extensive number of customers that use it for uh, medical applications. Can you give me some examples of those? Well, we have companies that are doing a lot of handheld instrumentation, uh, a lot of uh, prototyping of new uh, uh, products such as spine fixation devices and, and, and medical instrumentation, just a lot of different things like that. Can you give me a sense of the price ranges of, of the various printers, because I've heard that they vary quite um, quite a lot. Absolutely, yeah. So the, the entry price point for the Stratasys product line is about $10,000, and that gives you a 5-inch by 5-inch by 5-inch cubic uh, build volume. Um, all the way up to uh, a couple of hundreds of thousands of dollars to where a machine can actually print something three feet by two foot by three feet. Rob, what kind of products are you displaying at the show and can you talk about, for example, the one that's right behind us? So the Uprint uh, 3D printer that we're looking at here uh, works kind of like a sophisticated glue gun where instead of extruding out glue, it's extruding ABS plastic. So at the base of the unit right here, you actually have two different spools of material. One spool right here is actually the model spool where it's almost like a weed whacker filament as well as the support spool. And these two filaments are fed up into the top of the machine into the print head where it's basically heated up into a molten state and extruded out two tiny orifices just like a, uh, a glue gun. The material comes out about the diameter of a human hair and is laid down and paved layer upon layer, kind of like paving a road until the model's built up in its completion. The object that we're printing in the machine is a little pill bottle. So it's roughly about an inch and a half tall when it's completed. This particular model is going to take about 25 minutes to print. The operation in the machine is very simple. The control units here, it's only got uh, really four main buttons and it's all menu driven. And it really just gen generally takes a couple of clicks of a button to get the next job started. That's interesting. And Stratus is the company that's based in Minnesota, correct? Yeah, they're based in Minnesota, and because of the merger with Object, uh, they also have now have a headquarters in Israel. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Okay. Thank you.